ArcGIS 9.3 enables you to create, update, and manage asset information more effectively. First, I'd like to show you how an ArcView user that might be new to ArcGIS Desktop can get started creating new data layers for themselves. Provided you have an internet connection, ArcGIS 9.3 comes with data built in by accessing the ArcGIS Desktop Resource Center. From the File menu, you can connect to the Desktop Resource Center and easily access ArcGIS online content, which can be streamed directly into your ArcMap session. Whether you don't have a base map or would like to supplement your existing data, there are several base maps to choose from. Let's start with the World Street Map, which provides ArcGIS desktop users a seamless multi-scale street map with highway-level data for the world and street-level data for the United States, Canada, and several countries in Europe. The World Street layer is now added into my ArcMap session. As you can see, there are other services that we can add into our map, such as the World Imagery, Shaded Relief, or Physical Map. Back in ArcMap, in addition to map services, there's other types of built-in content. For example, if I use the Find dialog, we can use the World Gazetteer service to actually search for cities, places, or important areas of interest. So as you can see here, it's now searching. I found the city of Riverside, California, and now I can zoom easily to that location. Navigating the map is pretty easy with the Gazetteer service. Now my role at this point is I need to digitize a series of fire stations for the city of Riverside. Using this map, I can heads up digitize points by just pan, zoom, and locating those. So if I window in here, we know that one of the fire stations is near the John W. High School. Using the draw toolbar, I can set symbology, and I can start adding points to the map. So this first point we know is somewhere along this street here south of the high school. Having the street map is certainly a great resource, but I can also add world imagery, giving my map a much clearer picture of the area and allows me to update the point much more accurately. If I turn on the world imagery service from ArcGIS Online, I can now take this point location and update it to the directly on top of the rooftop. In addition to built-in base maps and the Gazetteer search, ArcGIS desktop users can access the Teleatlas US address finder and easily locate and pan to addresses within the map. I know that one of the fire stations is located at 750 Central Avenue and I can key in that information key in the city name and the state, and find that address location. The address is searched, the results are returned. So using this, I can pan to the results. I can also use the results to add the point directly to the map. So now that we can see my point has now been added to the map. We might notice though that it doesn't look like on the imagery there happens to be a fire station nearby. In addition to the base services that ArcGIS Online provides, there's also premium services that you can subscribe to that have more recent imagery, up-to-date, and better resolution. So if we look at the imagery prime, I can now see that the newer imagery shows the fire station clearly on the map. So I can now take this location and scroll the point over the top directly on the roof so now I have a much more accurate location for the fire station. You've seen how easy it is to add the points but the points at this point only live in the map so what I'd like to do is put these in a geodatabase. Using the Arc Toolbox one of the tools will allow me to create a database. Maybe I don't know what the exact name of that tool is so I can use the toolbox search to find that. So I need to find things that create Maybe I need to find create file to be more specific. Here we've seen that we found a tool called create file geodatabase. Here I can browse for the location. I can type in the name of the database that I want to create. 
and finish that process. So now the database has successfully been created. Now I can take the points and put those in the database using a new option for ArcGIS 9.3 that allows me to convert these graphics to features in a database. So the output could be a shape file, it could be a file geodatabase, or it could actually be an ArcSDE geodatabase. A very functional tool for allowing you to simply edit your data and put that into a geodatabase. Now I've picked the geodatabase, put in the name of the feature class that I want to store, and save those to the database. Now it asks me if I want to add those to the, to the map, I add those in. Now I have a layer that has been added to the table of contents that I can use in reference to any other data I have in my enterprise. So here we've seen how we can easily create points using ArcGIS online services, Gazetteer Search, as well as the Teleatlas US address finder in order to update locations for the points. ArcView users can easily take advantage of these tools to edit data of their own.